<laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah! That's right. That's right, audience. You've got 24 <laughs> theme songs of e equal quality coming to you. And this <laughs> is Garbage Day. We have been planning this event for literal months, and I am so excited uh, to dig into this. Uh, your friends for the hour are going to be myself. Hi! Uh, then you've got, you've got yourself, you've got, you've got Boots Rain Gear. Hi! Uh, you've got, you've got Jimmy Franks. Good morning. You've got John Toast. I'm not a ghost. <laughs> and you've got J.W. Freeman. Uh, what up, me, what up? <laughs> now let me just get to a little bit of business. Uh, what is happening, uh, if you're just tuning in here, is, uh, this is a 24-hour marathon. We are going to be making ourselves... Uh, crazier uh, in our houses for 24 hours because, like, why not keep a good thing going, right? Why not just keep just keep this momentum going? Uh, and we will be doing it all and raising money for the National Network of Abortion Funds at any time during this stream. If you go to garbage live, uh, we have a form uh, that money will be going directly to the National Network of Abortion Funds, but then adding to our total as well as some other fun things that will happen uh, as you donate, which is very exciting. Um, but speaking of exciting, uh, oh, Frank West is here. Uh, hey, but, I'm also here, but it's yeah, fine. You know, I don't get top billing. Listen, it's fine. Uh, so that's, so now we're, so now we're looking at ball pit. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Oh, our first anonymous $15 donation. Thank you so much. Um, uh, so, uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to be, uh, starting off, uh, with a document, uh, provided to us by Ray Thompson called e-zine articles, uh, e-zine articles. I was a little bit confused by the title because like, I mean, I don't know, you know, I mean, maybe this is showing my age, but like, I recognize what a zine was. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Photocopied and crappy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't I wasn't as cool with the exacto knife like I actually did it in desktop publishing software. Uh, but like e zines <laughs> like zines were rad. Um, and now e zine articles is equally rad. It's really, really good. Um, the first thing you see is in giant red font. Submit your high quality original articles for more exposure, credibility and traffic back to your website. Uh, and then a search uh, field that doesn't seem to work much. But um, but uh, Ray Thompson here has divided this thing into two separate sections. And section, section number one is called Non-Sex Stuff, a Warm-Up. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, think, I think let's start this thing off. John Toast, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, John Toast, is it true that you have a rant about social media? I do. Okay, great. Oh, okay. fantastic. What's your name there? Uh, I don't know yet. One more. Oh, all right. All right. Your name is Jeff Herring. Oh, Ooh, yes. Hi. I'm Jeff Herring. Hello. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Healy's just donated. <laughs> so if the, if the, uh, so Healy has just found that if you, uh, don't, if you're, don't, if the, the, the donation total contains the number 69 in it, um, <laughs> then, uh, two emojis, uh, 69 each other and then jizz. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Herring unlocked. Does, Jeff Herring does not approve of this. Uh, <laughs> asterisk, it can't. It can't be uh, sixty-nine cents. So, it, it, like, that's the only caveat to that. Anyway, <laughs> hi, I'm Jeff Herring. Hi. I look like I'm gonna sell you a reverse mortgage, but no, I've got this article. <laughs> a social media rant. Read at your own whisk. You have been warned. Ooh, I have been warned. Warning. <laughs> I've already warned you, but here we go. Here we go yep. again. Yep. If you read on, you are about to experience a rant. Instructive in places, I hope. Yes, yet still a rant. It's got more warnings than a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Do not ingest me. Recently, my wife Maritza and I were at Hartsfield International Airport in Atlanta, the busiest airport in the world. We walked up to wait on the tram that would take us to our gate for our flight. About 20 people were waiting around to board on our section. 18 out of the 20 were looking down at their cell phones, checking email, text, tweets, and God only knows what else. My thought, which became my out loud words, was, does anyone ever look up and see the world around them anymore? Never. No, no I did. Nobody. <laughs> I'm yelling this on the train from Terminal A to Terminal B. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a long flight, Maritza. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone could walk stark naked through most groups of people and no one would notice unless it became a YouTube video. 
Ah! <laughs> oh, just in time. <laughs> That's the sound of youth rebellion right there. <laughs> oh, God, I, I hate it also, thank you. <laughs> And also, also, uh, also, I wanted to say about formatting. Uh, each of these like paragraphs are bullet points for some reason. Yep. <laughs> so, bullet point number two: Did you know that one in six cell phone users between the ages of twenty-two to thirty-six have their cell phones paid for by their mom? Um, <laughs> that's good. That's good data. All right. <laughs> Anyways, fun facts. Uh, <laughs> point three: A recent Facebook update by a longtime friend bemoaned the fact that he had actually those a faint heart. Brace yourself. Perhaps you shouldn't read on. Yes, he actually left the house twice last week without his cell phone. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, why? Why would you possibly do that? Like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> I warned. Lost. I warned you this would be tough information to swallow. <laughs> there was a time not long ago when all of us just did that every day. How did we survive? <laughs> wow, Jeff. I don't know. <laughs> I was being sarcastic. Did you get it? Uh, no, I had no idea. Well, move. I'll move on then. Point four in the book, the winner of our disconnect, author and mom oh, Susan fuck Moss. That. Susan, <laughs> what? It's, it's really a play good. on words. Oh. It's a reference. Did you know that? <laughs> no, no, I had no idea. I was just upset for no reason. <laughs> Maybe if you looked up from your phone. Anyway, oh, god damn it! <laughs> you got me. Author and mom Susan. Mouse heart? Ma ma Mashart. Susan Mashart. <laughs> Susan Mashart. <laughs> well, let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> well, this hour is starting off very well. <laughs> These Pokemon, the new ones have stupid names. <laughs> well, <laughs> Madame Mashart had her entire family go a full six months without any screen time. Good on her. Could you do that? Could I? Wait, now is this a rant against yourself now? <laughs> yes. The thing about me today is that I'm fucking lazy. <laughs> you know what really takes me off about me? <laughs> wow. It's like a Tim Heidecker stand-up set. <laughs> Point number five. My cell phone allows someone's voice to come in loud and clear. It also has a very sensitive volume control that allows right. me to turn up the volume and turn down the volume of someone's voice. He started out like, I hate phones, everybody. It's like a boomer comic. And then now he's like, my phone's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so I assume everybody has this feature, too. Though sometimes I think I must be mistaken because I notice so many people in public feel the need to practically yell into their phones. Oh my or maybe God. they actually believe that everyone within 50 feet of them are hanging on to every one of their words. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 so many ums and bops. <laughs> oh, I saw. I love all of. I love all of the like, and and you know, this is our second year with the National Library of Abortion Fund. So at this point, they've figured out why all of our donations are in such weird numbers. <laughs> <laughs> why is this thirteen dollars? Oh, okay, yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> I got. <laughs> I gotta say, I, I caught those emojis, and that is pretty hot, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Should we explain the Umbot, by games. the way? Because I don't think we have. <laughs> we, yeah, we probably should. Okay, so uh, the deal is that uh, every time we reach uh, every milestone of $100, uh, there's an Umbop uh, that happens, and we've got a... Uh, we've got a button that charges up uh, every time yeah. that happens, and so that anybody can, anybody in the call can press it. Uh, to, in, to just interrupt whatever somebody's doing with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, so it, it doesn't trigger automatically. One of us can press the button specifically to fuck with whoever's reading. <laughs> uh, well, to oh, that point, wait, why are you distracted? <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. It's just uh, I saw some emojis and I kind of blacked out there for a second. Anyway, <laughs> point number I. Point number I forget because these are bullet points and I don't fucking care anymore. I'm as guilty as everyone else. So oh. I'm pointing at myself here too. Yeah, okay. We, 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 there's an there's an arc to my article. There's a real, you know, 
<laughs> I'm a giant hypocrite, so uh, <laughs> now I'm going to bitch about some stuff. <laughs> In fact, right now I have immediate access to three screens. The laptop on which I'm writing this column, the TV in, on in the background, and my cell phone next to me. Oh, man. Is there Double any screens. Hope? Double screens, man. Is there any hope for us all at all? Oh. Even though I just ran about social media technology, I'd love to have you come and be a part of my Jeff Herring webinar fan page. <laughs> we did some pretty good webinars each week, so come join us from Jeff Herring, the content marketing king. The content marketing <laughs> king. For a Luddite, he's surprisingly online. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so uh, our next uh, our next article. Uh, so we've learned a little bit about social media. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh my god uh i want to just give uh big ups uh ironicus uh had a uh conflict uh and could not uh make this stream uh but just donated 245 dollars and 71 cents to the to the <laughs> to the stream i'm gonna be better at talking eventually but anyway uh, uh well it, com it comes with a comment for one dollar per minute i had to flake on you apologies <laughs> <laughs> We love you, Ironicus. We understand. We do. We do very much love you. Um, so, uh, so we've learned a little bit about uh, about social media. Now it's time for us to learn about black magic. J. W. Friedman. Oh God. Listen, uh, I like black magic. I like black magic. I wouldn't say love. And the reason why I don't love black magic is that I feel like black magic is only for certain people. You know, and I feel like it's kind of exclusionary in that regard. Yeah, well, um, my name is Mariana Torman, and mm -hmm. I'm here to explain that what you think is wrong, um, much oh, like no. our, our last article. Oh, dear. Because it turns out I have a real black magic spell for everyone. <laughs> is it? <laughs> it is. Uh, if veterans... you say that three times in the mirror, you'll be haunted by Weird Al appearing in your music video. <laughs> Vector, Vector DeVille, just to clarify for you, and thank you very much for the $69, $69 donation, but just to clarify for you, uh, what makes the, the emojis jizz is when the total itself contains the number 69. So the total has to contain the number 69 in order for the emojis to jizz. Yes. You gotta do math. We're making you do math. <laughs> yep, we are. Also, there might be a 421. Just saying. Ooh. <laughs> very well Ch might be. Chat's been trying. Okay, okay. All right, um, well, here's a real black magic spell for everyone. Sort of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just realized I this is not a spell. Okay. Do you believe that real black magic could help you getting what you want? Interested to do a spell on your own to attract someone you fell in love with? Or maybe you want to do a simple trick to reach your dreams. Doctors hate him. Follow these <laughs> methods to enhance your skill. One. Meditate. To become the true witch, learn to meditate. Why it must? It is because you must clear your mind. Whoa. <laughs> Why it's, wow. it's Why night it in the morning not? over here, sir. <laughs> it is because you must clear your mind from any distractions. It also helps you to stay focused on a single idea or visual image. The true spell is performed with mind. Spend at least 20 minutes daily to be focused. 20 to... minutes daily of focus just focus for 20 minutes yeah just you gotta meditate for 20 minutes daily if you want to be focus <laughs> be focus <laughs> i have become focus annoyer of girls <laughs> step two <laughs> decide what you want to achieve pick one thing at a time don't choose more than one goal it will ruin your focus one target makes you stay focused on what you're <laughs> eager to reach as the witch. You'll cast it with spraying fire, flying, or turning invisible. Whoa. It eases you to obtain what you want instantly. I have no idea what any of that meant. I just thought this was like some like self-help, actualize yourself stuff. And yeah. Suddenly I'm going to be shooting fire and turning invisible? Okay, I'm it's, on board. Yeah. It's the secret, but it's way better because you actually get to do magic. <laughs> Number three, create it the symbol. <laughs> After you decided your goal, insert your target into simple phrase. Remember oh, to yeah. begin the sentence with I will. Your own real black magic words is guaranteed to grab what you want right away. Four, start to cast it. 
Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Okay. Visualize in your mind that bright white or golden light start entering your body from above. Okay. It's the beginning of the process to say your charm. All right. Step five, see the lights. As you see the light go through your body from head to toe, stay to take a deep breath. Don't go anywhere. Then speak your wish aloud. Ensure it consists of your goal. Next, modify your focus from the light to your look, target. Look at the birthday cake. Hold your breath. Now, <laughs> now release and make your wish. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Emotional touch. For obtaining successful real black magic spell, pour your emotion. Just imagine you bring desire into your life. Shows that you are really wanted. Cast it with full of emotion. I am really wanted. This is like a track list from a really bad album from the 1990s, by the way. Like, create it the simple, start to cast it, and see the lights, emotional touch. Yeah, this is this is, this is is a Debbie Gibson album. <laughs> I was thinking more like live. <laughs> Thanks to the light. After you cast your skill, don't forget to say, ooh! Don't forget yes. to say, ooh, Bob! All right, we're, 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 guys, we're 16 minutes in. <laughs> Oh my God! We are 16 minutes in. Uh, Bogeyman oh. weather just pushed it over a thousand dollars. Amazing! Uh, so many people to thank. Uh, thank you so much for all these donations so far. We really, really do appreciate it. And so does the NNAF. A lot of people really want to see emojis jizz. Uh, well, anyway, yeah. <laughs> they are, by the way, algorithmically created emojis. So <laughs> I made a system that creates two random genders. Gives them appropriate emojis and then appropriate things that that put their mouths on those emojis. Oh wow! <laughs> and then sploosh. Well, don't forget to say thanks to the umbop because it helps you achieve your goal. Then open your eyes, repeat it daily until you get what you want. How easy to cast real black magic spell, right? You only need to know the right techniques and do it daily. Once you mastering the tricks, you'll have no problem for grabbing what you desire in life. Thanks no more. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> no more how easy that cast real black magic link 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 the end. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know of the simple, I can cast the light, the magic. What? Just got to use that emotional touch. Oh, okay. That's what I'm missing. Guys, help! I thought about th throwing, throwing fire, and I can't stop. I can't think about not throwing fire. <laughs> well, that's perfect. Just do that every day. <laughs> uh, hey, Frank West. That's me. We're gonna be moving uh, from uh, the non-sex stuff section. <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> into, oh. into the second section. <laughs> And, uh, and to that end, Frank West, uh, you know, it is uh, 1118 in the morning for me. And so I want to maintain good penis health. Is there a way you could help me maintain good penis health? Boy, Lemon, do I have a solution for you? The most you? The most <laughs> It's new, Bob. The most recent uh, donation is oh from I don't even own an abortion. <laughs> oh, God. Maintaining good penis health with a furry fetish. By... Right. I'm not going to say that because that's his real name. Why would you? Okay. <laughs> well, it's okay. It's okay because he's not real. He's a stock photo man, apparently. Yeah, I do. I know we're, we're an what? audio medium, but uh, this article does start with a stock photo of a very satisfied looking businessman just being like, oh, you want to ask about my furry fetish, huh? <laughs> what what, what my... kind of idiot uses their real yeah. name to talk about this crap anyway? <laughs> 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 Pull up a chair, sport. Let John Dugan tell you about my furry suit. <laughs> with men and women becoming more sexually frank with each other nowadays, it's not unusual for a person to discover that their bed playmate has a fetish or two. Good Ooh, or bed playmate. <laughs> bed playmate. My skin is already crawling. <laughs> Good sex. I mean, have you guys ever just walked in on your bed playmate on like the fifth or sixth bed playtime and they're wearing a fursuit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, have. I mean, it's, I discover these things all the time. <clears throat> Good sex tips emphasize handling such revelations with proper care, especially as it is a sign of trust when a secret like this is shared. Mm. 
as long as the pe- fetish does not negatively impact penis health or <laughs> general health for that matter, I guess. <laughs> Mostly the penis health. Though. And as long as a man has an appropriate comfort level in engaging in fetishistic play, this can be as much fun for the man as for his partner. Someone's being left out of this equation. <laughs> <laughs> One, one fetish that tends to be more common among women, asterisk. Oh wait, no, sorry. That's uh that's an that's an editor's note from the doc maker. <laughs> but which some men may find enjoyable is a focus on the furry. Uh, okay. Uh, well, right. Okay, you guys obviously don't know what a furry is, so let me explain. Oh, oh great, exactly. okay, good. <laughs> Called the furry. The furry, it's a Metal Gear Solid boss. <laughs> I came back from Furcon. <laughs> and do you know what I saw there? <laughs> you don't want to know. You really, you don't. really don't want to know. <laughs> Look at the stream. <laughs> oh no, easy, it is. Take it over. Spooks, are you okay? Snap! <laughs> <laughs> by furry a woman doesn't usually mean the generous thatch of hair that covers the body of a hair sweet lover although that does often come into play during furry activities <laughs> furry refers to an anthropomorphic animal with human characteristics like bugs bunny for example or many of the characters in certain japanese manga Ooh. you know what i'm talking about no i don't <laughs> Those are the two styles of furry. One I bug bunny, two all anime. <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, three sparkle dog, and you've pretty much got it covered. <laughs> furry fandom recruits to that group of people who are especially drawn to these lovable furry characters. For most, the fondness is not necessarily sexual in nature. Mm. They simply respond to something about these characters that touches or engages them. Often furry fans like to engage in cosplay, that is, dressing up like their favorite characters, and may also enjoy role-playing, actually pretending to be these characters. For some people, however, the attraction does have a distinctly sexual cast to it. Furry fans who enjoy fantasizing about furries in sexual situations, doing pornography about them, or having sex with other fans dressed up as furries are said to be... Yiffing. <laughs> God. Oh, that God. word will never not make me laugh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Does it make you horny? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Do oh. I make you riffy, baby? All right, his... Jay, what do you call this character? He's really good. Poston. That's uh, nothing. <laughs> Agreed. I'm giving it up. Participating. If a man who is not part of the furry culture finds that his partner is interested in furry sexually, he may be asked to join her in her fetish. If this falls within his comfort level, there are several ways in which he may participate. Indulging her cosplay or roleplay. The partner may want to pretend to be one of her favorite furry characters while they have sex. (laughs) This may simply require the man to refer to her by the right name and know enough about the character to respond appropriately to the things she says. I'm sorry. (laughs) I need to both be a furry and respond appropriately or something. <laughs> Look, if you don't know my character's lore, we don't have to fuck. You can just go play your video games or whatever. Lance Hunter says trying to hit that moving $69 target. Uh, Lance, we appreciate your $93, but oops, you missed. Sorry. Yeah, you need to do some black magic on that. <laughs> Actualize the, the light or something. I don't know. By the way, it's Fox did powers. I figured it out. No. There it is. That's good. the yeah. Okay, that's good one. Powers with like P A W, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 Very funny. <laughs> Joining <laughs> her. <laughs> Joining her role play. Alternatively, the partner may want the man to pretend to be a furry. Some men find this liberating. For example, they may enjoy stamping their feet like a horse and winning aggressively as they engage in sex. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. I love being strong. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's how I get her to ovulate. <laughs> Joining her in cosplay as well, a man may be asked, or opt on his own, to join her in the cosplay department while they are getting intimate in bed. Wearing a bull's head or a tiger ah! paw gloves <laughs> may bring a different dimension to the experience. Just like a huge mascot bull head and nothing else. That is some Silent Hill shit. <laughs> By the way, uh, 
I, I, I want to break in, but Secret Gagent 69 said Mr. Sex Ed, and it made me very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Wilbur! Wilbur! Wilbur, no! Look, I do feel like I'm getting off topic. <laughs> <laughs> the most important part of great sex, and by extension, penis health, is that a person must feel comfortable participating. The important thing is the penis health. A man who is willing may still want to ease into things and take his time to find out just what works for him. Being honest and open about these things, but in a caring manner, is crucial in any kind of relationship. Among other valuable steps... Se among other valuable... Yay! Thanks, among other valuable sex tips... <laughs> Just because a man is getting all furry doesn't mean his penis health should be animalistic. Oh, here comes oh, guys, the sales you, pitch. Did you guys see that that low cholesterol recipe in this month's issue of Penis Health? <laughs> I, I, well, I mostly buy it for the photos. So uh... <laughs> This is a uh, kind of deep joke, but uh, Chai's donation comment was, Dan Savage always said that romantic partners should be, quote, good, giving, and gamers. <laughs> 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 Treat the penis like a man, not an animal. That's right. And regularly well, apply it like a manimal. <laughs> no, sorry, deep cut. <laughs> I appreciated it. it wasn't deep enough for me. <laughs> and regularly apply a top-notch penis health creme. <laughs> Ooh. 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 So decadent. Mm. <laughs> Health professionals recommend man one, man oh, one. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, I know. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> I know y'all are. I, I know y'all are excited, but they always recommend these synthetic man man oils when <laughs> regular man oil will do just fine. You know, it's man one man oil. Treat your penis like a man. <laughs> First four hundred and twenty. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Oh, I'm sorry. You were saying. Be sure to turn. <laughs> just keep it mad at you, and Bob. Be sure. Oh. Be, anyway, sure the, be sure the creme includes vitamins A and C. Vitamin A is known for its antibacterial properties, which fight unwanted penis odor. <laughs> While leaving the wanted penis odor in place, you know what I'm saying. Uh, oh, wait, actually, that's literally, that was a joke, but the next sentence is, a musky animal scent is one thing, rank odor is another. <laughs> Um, well, oh, those are definitely two things. And vitamin C is the key component of collagen, the tissue in the body that gives penis skin its tone and elasticity. <laughs> and visit, like bing. visit menshealthfirst.com for more information about treating common male organ health problems, including soreness, redness, and lack of male, loss of male organ sensation. This is my real name, and I wrote this online. <laughs> 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 Me and my Beetlejuice tie, thank you. <laughs> uh, hey, Boots. Uh, hey, Lemon. Um, so you've uh, you've been opining lately. Uh, boy, everyone is just a stock photo. Uh, you've you've mm -hmm. opted for a stock photo of bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro, uh, probably in Egypt or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It looks but, like Elon Musk on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> what is a vacation for that guy <laughs> i don't know this person this person looks shaped like a human so i don't think so uh so yeah so what have you noticed about getting laid oh uh well uh my name is mark alexander and uh i got a little article on why getting laid is impossible or too easy <laughs> <laughs> the yep time? yep this this tracks. Yeah. Have you noticed sometimes it seems like the woman, <laughs> the woman <laughs> is the <laughs> one qualifying you, no matter how ugly she is. Oh, this is some, this is some real poor shit. Mm. Oh yeah. You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> but then at other times you end up qualifying the hottest woman, the, the pendulum of who gets to qualify, who swings, 
Who gets to qualify who swings back and forth depending on supply and demand, the social context, and who the most dominant person is. That's why you have to kill all of the other men in your area. Uh, <laughs> have you so... ever noticed that the women... <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Uh, I just want to skip right down into insight into the female brain. Oh, good. Because I'm good. sure I have. I'm sure I've got some really uh, astute things to say. Me, uh, by the name of Mark Alexander. Mm-hmm. Anyway, like, just look at the spooks image right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, erotic. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> I think I got fucked by him at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> well, how did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> Playing the Simpsons, huh? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! <laughs> oh, here come the Five Nights at Freddy's jokes. <laughs> right. Anyway, it gave me all the insight I needed into a female brain. They can only judge men relative to their visible social context. That's why sometimes you need you seem like the apex predator, and sometimes you seem like a bottom feeder. Yeah, okay, this is just push it. Bottom, bottom feeder. Is that is that the dirty version of bottom feeder? <laughs> sometimes you need to seem like you're the apex predator, and sometimes yeah. you need to seem like you love to eat ass. <laughs> it's just disappointed. <laughs> what, my, what is? Okay, it's just <laughs> disappointed that it never really ends up being this close contested romantic game that you see in TV shows and movies. You know that thing where two people hate each other, but then they fuck? <laughs> that happens in TVs and movies all the time. Mm-hmm. I just want that in real life. Doesn't that sound awesome? <laughs> uh, it's always either a thirsty slut or a cold shoulder. Jesus Christ, I hate this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Can I interest you in a and, I, and I wrote this. Shoulder? What? Can I interest you in a thirsty slut or a cold soul- soldier? <laughs> <laughs> cold oh. soldier. A cold soldier. A cold, a cold soldier sounds way better. <laughs> Cold solder. Cold <laughs> slut is kind of the worst possible, though. Cold yeah. slut or a thirsty shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> the thirsty shoulder is my neighborhood pub. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this happen and experienced it quite a lot. It's partly human nature to chase the unattainable, but the chase is more than half of the fun. Oh. S. <laughs> Ones. <laughs> Sudden elevation from the dog's dinner to Mr. Right when something external ha- to you happens to shine a pretty light on you is much better than being out in the cold, but it does make harder for you to tell yourself that they like you for you. <laughs> Public enemy number six says the socially invisible man. <laughs> <laughs> I guess oh, so here I'm going to wrap it up with some uh, some positive vibes here. I guess that's what makes liking you for you so important. Oh, am I, am I clipping? Am I super loud? No, no, no you're, okay. you're no. good. Okay. You're sexy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's mm-hmm. get it on. Uh, okay, so so Jimmy Franks, uh, yes. now that we've learned so much about the the female brain, uh, I'm sorry, mm-hmm. the female brain, um, mm-hmm. uh, I would like to start. Did you find this article helpful? One upvote, no downvotes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro, I found helpful. <laughs> now I just gotta, lo- gotta love me for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, so now that I know uh, all of the stuff about uh about the female brain, um, uh, I would like to start a sexual conversation with a girl. Well, I'm glad you asked. You know, I've been I've been workshopping this TED talk for a while now. So uh, give me a chance to just kind of do a dry run on it. <clears throat> How to start a sexual conversation with a girl without sounding awkward or creepy. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. By Josh Manuel. In this article, I teach you how to start a sexual conversation with a girl without telegraphing sexual intents. Your conversation with a girl you're interested in should be geared towards sexually suggestive topics. Oh, all right. Just, all right. Just, oh, just, yeah, just, just come in hot. Uh, in other <laughs> words, if you're talking to a girl you feel attraction for and want to get into a romantic relationship with, mm-hmm. you'll want to make your conversation or interaction with her sexual in nature. I will. In addition to the friendly conversation you'll be having with her, you have to move towards sexual suggestive topics to bring you closer to an intimate bond. The well, goal what here is the subject of what we're talking about. I don't get it. 
<laughs> the goal here is to introduce sexual tension and generate attraction with her. Truth is, if you keep talking to a girl you're interested in on the level of a friend, she'll categorize you as a friend in her mind. She'll see you as just a friend. She'll say, Maybe you. Just a friend. <laughs> but not someone she feels sexually attracted to. Man, she has a very big bra. <laughs> oh, snap. Now, the drawback to that is that women or girls know that men want to have sex with them. So any tentative suggestion or advances from you could cause a woman to raise her defenses. So how do you go about this? How do you start a sexual conversation with a girl without raising any red flags? Exactly as the title says. In this article, I teach you how to start a sexual conversation with a girl without sounding awkward or creepy. You'll learn the three best ways to introduce the topic of sex without telegraphing any interests. I think... How do I think you don't want a costume like look like the uh, merchant in Resident Evil Four. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> Got a good dick for you, stranger. <laughs> what are you fucking? Uh, how do I beat the video game called Sex? Can you tell me. <laughs> right. Now, before you begin, know that women love to talk about sex. They love it, but most of them are reluctant to talk about it with men they don't feel comfortable with or don't have an emotional connection with. Oh, okay. Right. So yeah, gross. Really, we're getting inside the mind of the female human. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> so before you initiate sexual topics with a woman or girl, make sure you gain rapport with her first. It's even better if she's giving you some <laughs> indications of interest. Yes, yes, it is. Even, even better. Better. Yeah, that's better. That's better. I mean, hypothetically, if you can make it happen, that's good. Yeah. For instance, when she's playing with her hair, touching you, or leaning in close when conversing. With that said, let's get started. On oh, it's like the second preamble. God. <laughs> <laughs> on how to start a sexual conversation Only with the a girl. Preambles to Pua. <laughs> <laughs> Here's how to start a sexual conversation with a girl. Oh. <laughs> it's you know it's good structure. Tell them what you're gonna say. Say it, and then tell them what you just said. Right. <laughs> uh, tip number one: talk about things from a sexual perspective. Say you're talking about a movie. Don't okay. tell her how much you liked it or for its car chase and how some dude got to kick some more ass. Instead, tell her about how you liked the love relationship between the characters <laughs> and how you loved oh, yeah. the sensuality of their yeah. scenes together. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. a lot of people just like RoboCop for the action, but <laughs> <laughs> I've got a different perspective. Mm. Wait, where are you going? <laughs> Why are you rolling up your window <laughs> and driving away? <laughs> and then you ask her if there are any other movies that have affected her that way and, and have her explain why. Have you ever been as turned on as you have from Fast and the Furious 7? Yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tip number two, feed her mind. And the rest will Slip follow? It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Slip in. <laughs> yeah. Put cheeseburgers in her ear. Slip Don't in socially so charged <laughs> words or phrases into your normal conversation with her. Oh, cool. Okay. Here we go. Here okay. we go. A great way to do this is by using sexual innuendos or yeah. double entendre. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This NLP, is when you. <laughs> this is when you say something innocent yet can be deemed dirty or sexual. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Don't be surprised if you're asked to report to human resources. Uh, for, for instance. <laughs> Boy, this is really hard. <laughs> For when you're talking about a when you're talking about a popsicle, right, right, right. Because right. when you refer to when you put a popsicle in your mouth, and go, boy, this is hard. <laughs> that is the first. Time. Uh, when you're talking oh, about a party, <laughs> <laughs> how often do popsicles come up in conversations between adults? Well, I carry around a stack of popsicles in my freezer with me so I can do this. No, my, I put it in my pocket. It didn't work. No, my, my head cannon is that he tried to use a popsicle before, but like the coldness uh, overtook the hardness part and he fucked it up. He's like eating a popsicle and then he goes, mm, this is really cold and uninviting. Oh, shit. Okay. No, come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> no, wait. That's you. Uh, when you're talking about a party you went to, say, I didn't come with her. Uh, okay. huh? Anyone? Anyone? No? Okay. Uh, so, when you're talking to someone getting hit by a car, he almost <laughs> rear-ended her. <laughs> Still talking about Fast and Furious movies. Oh, okay. <laughs> she so knew it is, talk like a seventh grader. Awesome. She got hit by the car really hard. 
and went to the hospital. Wait, wait I've got some more. It's a, it's a pervert comedy jam. Here we go. Uh, that's what, another effective way to feed her mind or gradually bring up sexual topics is to use that's what she said jokes and that's what he said jokes. Like oh, when she says always something a like, winner. Put it always a winner. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't need lube where we're going. Oh, she says something like, put it inside. It's much better when it's wet. <laughs> then you respond with, mm, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. Of course, you don't want to get into this territory. <laughs> the thing about Michael Scott is that he's such a you sex icon. Get into this territory. <laughs> Completely. Uh,. You don't want to get this territory during the early stages and when you've just met, you start with superficial conversation and build up to a more sexual conversation. Uh, she doesn't play along. She probably isn't comfortable with you yet. <laughs> okay, get out of the way, breeder. Okay. Okay, no more time for breeders because this is the complete gay guide on how to get a straight guy. Okay? If you're wondering how exactly okay. you get a straight guy, it's not as difficult as you think it is. I'm Jay Butler. One problem is that most straight guys right. run the first sight of gays afraid that you would want to pick them up. True, but to have the most success, you must approach them in a sly way, unsuspecting of your motive. You just in a bar and just, just like, wait a minute, I think this guy's gay. And all the straight men go, gay? Oh, no. Ah, ah. <laughs> Make sure to check their cones of vision on the Soliton Gator. <laughs> I'm just I'm 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 just gonna do Metal Gear Solid jokes the entire, the entire <laughs> marathon. You got a stick? Wait, what happens if you and Isfahan are in a recording? <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> well, okay, I guess you just have to ask yourself if love can blossom even in a recording. So you got to come uh, to them. And you got to be cool. Talking about typical, you know, straight guy interest. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing pickup lines is lame. You got to find a common ground to exchange a good conversation. Get him hooked by being. $1,517. Oh my God. So fun. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, you got to seduce him by saying something. Uh, is this where I am? That's probably, this is probably where I am. Anyway, the trick on how to get a straight guy is take it slow. Seduce him by being interesting and funny. Someone who makes him feel at ease. Once you hit that comfortable zone, bring up the topic of sex. Maybe. <laughs> Have him. We were just having to talk about Call of Duty. Oh my God. <laughs> I find Call of Duty very sexy. <laughs> well, a lot uh, of people think Robocop's just an action movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, my dick's already inside of you. Um, have him share his sex escapades, demanding for vivid and detailed stories. A sure way to get a straight guy is to have him so horny that all he would want is an instant release with you. Okay. Then, 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 after that, you gotta direct attention to his package. Suggest <laughs> Suggest that his peak is mighty up and deserves worship. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just suggest it casually. Boy, your peak is mighty up. <laughs> My peak is mighty up. Yeah. Casually drop the possibility of how great men give head. <laughs> ah, the great man theory. Yes, I've heard of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the hardest part of civilization. Uh, yeah, yeah. Animal, he got on the elephants, marched over the elves, <laughs> got off the elephant. Suck, 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 suck. <laughs> um, uh, so, who knows how to worship a gadget with then one? Who knows how to worship a gadget than one who actually has one? He might protest. <sighs> That's always a good word that you need to have in sexual conversations. The word protest. You might protest, but you can get a straight guy by strongly stating, it's no big deal. Does not even <laughs> look okay. <laughs> At this point, your straight man is might be boiling hot. He is practically begging for you to blow him. Picking up straight guys since an art. 
Can you bank on your skills to get any straight and then a link guy you want? Learning the ultimate seduction tricks, the same link, using a step-by-step guide, complete with surefire moves, exact lines to use, and everything in between. This Uh, is a link. Cheat codes. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, this is a link to, uh, uh, let's see if it still exists, so because we can know if it's, oh, so apparently this can't be a, a, an F-plus doc, because it was gaygettingstraightmen.com. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing was just sponsored content for that thing. Uh, coming down to the end, uh, I think, I think, I think, John Sos, I think I gotta give you a choice here. Okay. Okay, I love the choices. Come on. Great, great, great. Fantastic. So I know that I got you a little bit thinking about sexual thoughts. Just a um, smidge. Sexual gay <laughs> thoughts, specifically. And okay. so to that end, uh, you, you've got a choice here. All right. um, so, th- so option number one is gay thoughts, how to stop them now. Okay. And the other option is one of the sexual benefits of sucking your own penis. Oh, I think I'm going to go with number two. (laughs) All right. Well, then, your name is Kimmy. (laughs) Oh, good. I'm Kimmy. It's Kimmy Gibbler. Uh, Wants to tell you. Oh, no. (laughs) That makes this so much worse. Oh, have mercy. (laughs) Wait, 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 wait. wait. Say it again. (laughs) (laughs) I wasn't ready. (laughs) Cut it out. Oh, God. I forgot the rest of them. <laughs> Is it made out of wood? I don't know. <laughs> Stop that. It's a little jerky boys here, for it. Mm, hello, Stop I am that. Kimmy. One of the sexual benefits of sucking your own penis. Autofellatio. Ooh, that's a scientific term. I probably clipped the hell out of that. Anyways, auto fellatio or auto hyphen fellatio. (laughs) Two different (laughs) terms, I guess. It's the act where a man is able to perform oral sex on his own penis. It also refers, it is also referred to as a type of self suck, which includes Mm. toes, fingers, and other body parts. Self suck was my favorite Nine Inch Nails remix. Men aren't alone, however. Some women are able to enjoy similar sexual acts by orally stimulating their own vulva. This is referred to as autocunnilingus. However, <laughs> women are more into self-sucking other parts of their bodies, especially their toes. Many men are quite a very advanced technique. <laughs> Many become a pretzel for sex. Many men are quite aroused by watching a woman perform this fetish. There are numerous benefits as one is able to enjoy these solo sexual positions to sexually please themselves. With the male, one of the most important factors is rhythm. We know that rhythms or timing are made up of cycles. In most yeah. songs, for instance, the rhythm stays steady through the song, and the band members use this as an anchor to play and perform together. Suck your dick real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> you sucking bad. In, for instance, in a simple rock and roll ballad, the drummer and bassist typically provide the rhythm. This is the backbeat that keeps everybody hooked in the yeah. correct timing. Yeah. Yeah. Rhythm turn your, <laughs> turn uh, your masturbation into a rhythm heaven game. <laughs> uh, the rhythm is going to get you. Right. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> this is the backbeat that keeps everyone hooked into the correct timing. It is not uncommon to add a rhythm guitar, too. Cool. So this is Rocksmith. <laughs> <laughs> Cocksmith. Uh, let's see. If you notice in most um, songs that we mentioned, the rhythm stays constant through the song. This is because it is more difficult to change rhythmic patterns during a song, especially as one a part of a four or five piece band. When Felicio is performed, one of the aspects is that the penis is under the rhythm that the person performing the fellatio chooses to perform. These cycles may stay the same, speed up, or slow down. The difficulty is, unless the person performing the fellatio is extremely in touch with the feedback response they are receiving from the male, if one series of cycles is good or bad, or if it's time to change cycles, then the person receiving the fellatio will basically receive a standard type of oral sex. <laughs> Aww. Uh, just the regular. Of course, partners that have been with each other for quite some time and have plenty of practice in oral sex with each other will learn what works best, most stimulating and pleasing for their partner's pleasure. However, when a man or woman is able to perform oral sex on themselves, okay, we're getting to the point, they can mm-hmm. change the rhythm anytime they want at any cycle they so choose. That's right. That's right. You don't need a papal edict or nothing. It's I'm the new the... part of sucking dick. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's about the, it's about the uh, sucks you don't make. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this clearly puts them in the driver's seat of fellatio superiority over yeah. by being able to actually perceive the pleasure that one is creating themselves this gives the individual a fantastic opportunity to elevate their pleasure responses to their highest possible peaks that's true because until i sucked my own dick i was like well i keep doing this but like does it feel good to anybody <laughs> does anybody like it <laughs> and i know we're short on time but uh i just want to say that the uh I won't read the about me, but uh, this person has a link to something called Yoga Fellatio. So I just wanted yeah. to mention that. Yoga, yoga Fellatio. Fun word. Yoga Fellatio. Let's yoga Fellatio. Uh, before we find out what we learned, uh, Jimmy Franks, uh, Ray Thompson, yeah. a part of this document, has some titles that he found. That's right. Here's some good titles uh, they found. Uh, sex toys, good or evil? Masturbation at work? Why not? Practical <laughs> orgasm tips for men. Sex toys, good or evil? Two. The monk, how to practice platonic love without going crazy. What does she like in bed? Three top questions about the female orgasm answered in five minutes or less. Does she like sex? Four top questions about female sex habits answered in four minutes or less. Ways to increase male libido naturally. Three ways for men to increase their libido naturally. The challenge of pleasure. Reimagining sexuality and consent. Girlfriend can't orgasm, mm. let alone sex acts she will love, especially mm. if she can't climax. 31 <laughs> penis exercises any exercising program must have. Uh, shrimp, <laughs> shrimp tomato cheese toast, easy recipe, how to tell if a psychic is genuine. 39 great oil and gas songs that help pump your employees up before work. Top 10 reasons <laughs> you can sell more real estate with a podcast. How do you choose the best name for your podcast to get lots of new listeners? How to start a podcast. A how to properly lift and carry article with a twist. Nice. So what do we learn from any of this F+. Uh, I learned that you our know, fans can uh, give us fifteen hundred dollars uh, in donations in an hour. Holy shit! Holy yep. shit! Uh, yeah, yes. no. Looking at the uh, table, uh, I mean, really impressive. Uh, just most recent there, uh, Mag Goggles, uh, fifty-two dollars and fifty-seven cents. We have a uh, bug. It looks like uh, that if you have a, a name but no message, it seems to want to give you an anonymous donation. Mm -hmm. That's probably a bug. Uh, so you might show up as anonymous if you don't put in a message. Just saying. Uh, but yeah, a couple of donations from Chai. Uh, uh, Public Enemy <laughs> number six uh, specifically made it so the total was no longer four hundred twenty dollars and sixty nine cents, uh, which is a useful service. Uh, once again, I don't even own an abortion. Albuquerque's here. Hi, Albuquerque. Uh, yeah, and thank you so much. And uh, please uh, keep donating because I'm pretty sure. And this is only hour one, but uh, but here's what I can tell you for certain. Uh, is that we can keep this exact momentum going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, listen, listen, the first hour was fun. The next 23 are going to be great. I guarantee this momentum stays. <laughs> yeah, it was, baby. It was, it was, it was <laughs> uh, you know, I learned that uh, you, a lot of people think RoboCop is just an action movie, <laughs> but it turns out Stop, stop. I really want to have sex with you. Come on. Look at, my, right, on look at my dick, dick. Going on break. We'll be coming back. This is a uh, Booth Rain Gear hosted episode. When we come back with R slash relationship, stick around. We'll be coming back at the top of the hour. Stick around.